levels and figure it out, but it's so fucking hard. Yeah. Have you upgraded your double bar double barrel shotgun? Yeah, I think that's one of the few. Yeah, get that one all the way up. That's that was my favorite weapon to use. It just did so much damage, like pa 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 pa. And then afterwards, it's just like, yeah, let's cakewalk. Pull that out. No one's gonna fuck with you. All right, I got one of the doom guys. Oh, it's a vault guy, doom guy. A vault guy, doom guy. Yeah, that's what it's called. No. Yeah. Vault guy, doom guy. Vault guy, doom guy. Deuce vault. Let's see. Okay, I need to get the yellow thing to get that. But where is the yellow key to get that? I think I know where you're at. You're not in the under... Or are you in hell yet, or no? No, not even close. Okay, not in hell. I'm in a f uh, figurative hell of looking for impossible to find things. Oh no, that happens. That happens. I get it. But yeah. Like right now I need to find the yellow thing so I can get those other areas. Also, their map is like incredibly helpful and then not helpful at all. Yeah. It's, it's annoying. Because it's like their... <laughs> their map is incredibly detailed, but when you look at it, it just, it just confuses you. Yep. Ain't that the truth. Okay. Yeah, now here. There's a door there that I can't go through. Yes, it's the door, okay. That is the door. Now, what games on Switch are you going to get? Um, well, I'm definitely going to get Super Smash, because I've always played Super Smash when I go to a friend's house that has one of the... Uh, Nintendo systems. Um, oh, oh. I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get Tetris 99, and then probably after oh, that, yeah. um, Mario Kart, and probably, even though I don't need to get it, probably the Bioshock ports. Oh yeah, those are so fun. Because then I will have three. Then I'll have three different versions of Bioshock, and I'll have an excuse to play it again. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I was playing the first one. Kept on dying in the same damn area. Which area? Uh, it's in the first one. You're, you have to get, like, the distilled water and everything to make, like, this. Yeah. yeah. Or, like, you have to find, like, like make the antitoxin from... Oh, yeah, that's right. I remember that, you yeah. every day, Every damn time I go to this one spot... Fall through the floor. and just all these splicers are there. They get me no matter what. Every damn time. I think both in Bioshock and Bioshock Infinite, I played on their 1999 mode, and I would always get to like either the last level or the level before the last level, and I just couldn't do it, and I would get annoyed and stop. And go play something else, because and I remember in Infinite specifically, it's during the tower defense part, because there is basically the strategy is you get the sniper rifle, and if you don't kill like the first twenty guys with headshots, you might as well just restart. Yeah. And I'm like, God, there's no way I'm ever gonna do this. And now I'm looking at the labyrinth. But I will say, out of all the Bioshocks, I probably had the most fun with two. Really? Yeah, because, I mean, it it's a different take. I like how you can keep the plasmids and your weapons on hand. Mm -hmm. and you have to, like, switch them out. And it's just a... It was a fun story with a big daddy. I liked it. All right. Different take, you know. And then this, like, supposedly prodigal son of... Of uh, Andrew Ryan coming, it's like, no, this guy, he was like originally from the surface, 
He was turned into a big daddy because he became too popular. And now he's back. I I do not think um I do not think that it is um Andrew Ryan's son. No, no, no. I don't think it's as bad as people say. I oh, yeah. no. Um I I do think that it has its problems and it's not as good. But that's mm-hmm. just because it has to be a sequel to like one of the best narrative games like ever. So it's, yeah, it there's not it had a big do. thing to live up to. But the I don't think the experience is bad. I just mm-hmm. I don't remember like I remember like playing it a lot. But it's just one of those things where there are certain things when you play it or when I play it where I'm like, Ugh, that's kind of cringy, but. It's not bad, it's just not the best. But that's fine. Yeah. I feel like I'm walking in fucking circles. The hell I go? Okay, so I know you have played this on the channel before, but Final Fantasy VII The Remake. Is it good? Do you like it? I mean, I just played the demo. Uh, I dug it. I think it would be a great game for me to play on my own as opposed to the stream yeah because people probably know that game in and out already oh yeah so playing it publicly would be mostly embarrassing because it's like come on man you don't fucking know how to do this shit uh where the hell do i go i need one more gore nest where the hell is the gore nest? but um the gore nests taste like gore nests. The schnozberries taste like schnozberries. And as we know, shit, I fell in the fucking lava. It happens to the best of us, Kirk. Yep, and I'm going to die in the lava. Um, schnozberries was a subtle reference to balls. Ah. Because Roald Dahl, in a different book, about a prostitute referred to balls as schnozberries and then wrote that into Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Hmm. I did not know that. It's because Roald Dahl is a bit of a fucking weirdo. You know, who isn't nowadays? Because, yeah, just the, the history. I mean, look on... at J.K. Rowling. Yeah, yeah, J.K. Rowling is really pulling the George Lucas. Everyone was gay. Even the reader was gay. Just, like, to wake up random days and be like, I'm going to affect the canon of something that no one's asking me to affect. Yeah. I'm just kind of fucking around. Okay, so I've never played this game. I had it on my PlayStation. I'm playing Sniper Elite 4. Ooh. Never played it. Got it for free months ago. Did I get did I get this for free too? Was it on PlayStation 4 for free? For plus? Yeah. Yeah. I think I got it too. Did you get Shadow of the Classes? That was last month. Yes, I did. Oh yeah, that's a That's gonna I, be a sit down. Yeah, I was told that it may not be a good game for the stream, but it'd be a good game to play once if I had time. Oh, yeah. In like a fucking maze. Okay, this is where I gotta go. How do I get there, though? I swear, this thing's... Because I know Sniper Elite is like... 
just hyper accurate sniping, which makes sense by its name. But it also has like some of the best X-rays. Yeah, like where the bullet goes through it, and you see all the. It's one of my. Yep. One of my favorite, basically my only favorite, YouTube channel, Funhouse. They uh, they played Sniper Elite, and they basically just tried to only hit balls. Yeah. And that was pretty great. Now, would you say the people that played Red Dead Redemption 2 and went to the snow in their horses to see the balls shrink, is that the same energy? <laughs> Fairly, yeah. Um, but the... The Sniper Elite on Funhouse is... It's good because... They had played it once on a previous channel. Basically, they used to work for Machinima, and then they went to work for Rooster Teeth. Oh, shit. So, like, they played Sniper Elite 3 um, at Machinima, and then Rooster Teeth, the Sniper, when they went to work for Rooster Teeth, Sniper Elite 4 came out. So they were, like, super excited, and even their boss, because the head of them, Bruce, he was like, oh, man, I'm so excited. I've been asking for weeks when this game comes out, because I know we'll get to play it soon. And then the second they start, he's like, shoot him in the balls! And then they have a ball counter in the corner every time he hits them. Uh, it's just fun. It's just fun for the whole family to see x-ray testicles get shot off. Yep. Up, up the portal. There we go. Okay. Let's take this seriously. I've been screwing around. Okay, so I go this way. I go up here. Oh, there's definitely something up there, I can tell. Oh, I need the goddamn yellow thing. Son of a bitch, where do I get the... Yeah, for the double shotgun, you have to kill a certain amount of people, or you have to get a certain amount of double kills. Oh, yeah. Um, I am... Shit, where is the fucking yellow thing? Ugh. Oh, man. Well, today it was never even about the game. About the, it was about the trivia, and we failed. And... This playthrough of Doom is failing as well. But... Could be worse. All right, let's see if I can blow up some testicles on my end. Blow up them testicles. Yellow door. Oh, it's right fucking there. I've just been walking past him this whole fucking time. Ugh. Ooh, a headshot. Ooh, 
Wow, really? That's interesting. I just died to a nothing character. To the spawns? Yeah. I'm clearly not a. I'm not on my A game. It happens. Mm -hmm. Ah, trap me against a wall, you jerk. Yeah. Cause I get I get into that thing where it's hard to focus on the game while talking. So then I don't focus on the game and I talk instead. But then I fail a lot. Who was that? It's me. Oh, shit. It's a bitch. It's that Rick. Rick Zilla. Rick Zilla. On many social media platforms. Co owner and operator of Kinetic Print Company. An area where you can get many things printed on other things. Uh. <laughs> How was that trash taken out, Rick? Did you get through it? I don't even know if he's there. I'm here. Yeah, we, oh, it, yeah. It, 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 it happened. It was adult stuff. <laughs> adult stuff? Wait, you took not it that, out. Not that kind of adult stuff. You took Wait it out in your nighty. Like, what? What does that mean? Okay. All right. We got. We got a doom man somewhere in here. Where are you? Oh, aha! He's in the box. How are the dogs doing tonight, Rick? They're crazy selves, I imagine. Uh, they're just sitting on the couch, laying there lazy, watching Harry Potter. Which one? Prisoner of Azkaban. Oh, the best one. Ah. But, well, is it the best one? I'd say it's top three. I don't know about the best. I think uh, Half Blood Prince would be up there. I'd say Goblet of Fire is the worst, though. I think you're the worst. Really? You think that one's the worst? Well, no, I'm sorry. Let me rephrase that. The first two are the worst. Um, for sure. Because they're children, and they didn't know how to act. 
and you don't know how to act. Yeah, but you know, I'm not getting paid a fuck ton to do it poorly. Um, but it also it kind of like the first two are obviously just kids movies. Then the third one, they were like, let's fucking ratchet this up. And then um, the fourth one got just super weird because like everybody had shags. And, uh... Hi. How do you get that? Fourth one's probably the third worst. Also, I... Well, I also really, 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 really hate Deathly Hollows Part 1. Yeah, fair enough. Okay. Because it did not need to be its own movie. It didn't. Just grow some nuts. Make it two and a half hours. And make the montage where they're all... Wandering around nowhere. Fuck, fuck, I'm on fire. Damn. Happens to the best of us, Kirk. Sometimes we catch it on fire. Was it right, right there? Speaking of movie series that I didn't even give a shot to, um, I only saw the first Hunger Games and then was like, "Fuck this!" Yeah, I remember watching the second one, but I never want to watch the third one. <laughs> I'm just over it. Yeah, I just remember watching the first one and I was like, so what's the, like, what's the thing? Like, what, what, why are we all here? And everyone's like, isn't this great? I'm like, no, it isn't. I was told there was child murder. There's <laughs> very, very little of that in this. Seems like there's a whole lot of will they, won't they between these two characters I don't care anything about. Okay, also, because of that movie. Remember in the first one where, uh... Whoa. What's your face? Throws up the three fingers? Yeah. After uh, Rue dies? Yeah. I legit thought that she was going to throw up, like, the the Black Pride fist stuff. <laughs> I thought that was coming. I was like, oh, here it comes. Like, oh, it's just... What, what is this? What's these three fingers? What's this lazy-ass shit? Nah, give me, give me the fist. Wow, Ben. You're into that, huh? Wow, you took that dirty. Well, I get you have Rick, to do Rick, your adult <laughs> things. Rick takes a lot of things dirty. Um, I pop in and out of the conversation. <laughs> Once Rick hears fisting, then he's suddenly extremely interested in what we're saying. I'm intrigued. Go on. <laughs> Go on. You, you have my attention. You had my interest. But now you have my curiosity. Um, what well, movie? I don't know. I'll be honest, I don't know. It's a Quentin Tarantino movie. Oh, uh, It's shit. Django Unchained. That's it. Uh, it's, uh, it's Leonardo DiCaprio who says it. Oh, that's right. The reason I couldn't tell is because there was, like, no accent. Well, I'm not going to try to do a southern drawl. I, I believe you could do it. That, that was a good movie. Django Unchained was good. I need to uh, rewatch that one. Yeah. You know the scene where uh, Yo, the Leonardo hand. DiCaprio... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, that one was... Uh, that's one of those movie-like fact things that I've seen like seven times on Instagram. Oh, yeah. Where they're like, hey, did you know? And it's like, yes, you've told me this, I think, once every three months since the beginning of time. Yeah, I saw like a bunch of them, like of actors that hurt themselves, but... 
made the scene into the movie. Oh, like the uh, um, Lord of the Rings when what's his name kicked the helmet. Did you know that one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He kicked the he kicked the helmet as hard as he could because he thought mm. it was just a prop helmet. It turned out to be a real helmet, and he broke his fucking foot. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Viggo uh, Mortensen. Oh yeah, Vigo, Sorry. But uh, <laughs> and it's in the fucking movie. If you go and watch it, you're like, when he screams out in pain, it's because he broke his fucking foot while filming yeah. the movie. Uh, what was I gonna say? Not Viggo Mortensen. Oh, uh, when they were filming uh, Gimli scenes, uh-huh. and when he was like fighting the orcs, he was like, the orcs are like, yeah, you can hit us. Like we're wearing some thick padding, so like, just like if you hit us, it's not a problem. He's like, okay, which ones do I hit first? And he would like full on hit them. Famous. <laughs> not even like, there. yeah, not like a oh, like oh, I'm going to just like no, no, I'm going to fucking like. He's gonna kill you on you. that. Oh yeah. Um. And I know that the uh, the scene where, like, an orc or urukai, I can't remember. Yeah. But they threw a knife at Viggo Mortensen. Mm-hmm. And he he knocked it out of the air with his sword. Apparently, he wasn't supposed to actually throw the knife. They were gonna like digitally do that, but he did it accidentally. And if Viggo Mortensen didn't hit it out of the air with his sword, he would have had a. It wasn't sharp, but he would have had just a like big thing of steel hit him right in the face. Oh, shit. It's just a domer. <laughs> so, oh, fuck. So many times, like, <laughs> the more you hear about Lord of the Rings, you're like, shit. Yeah. G- give him an Oscar for just, like, the convenience that no one died. Yeah. The most near death. Well, what, my favorite, like, one of my absolute favorite <laughs> stories from, uh, like, stunts or whatever, uh, Tom Hardy on uh, was a uh, Fury Road. Yeah, um, he had his son there watching him do it, and they had Tom Hardy do that scene where like his head is off the truck, and like mm-hmm. near- nearly touching the sand. And the director was like with Tom Hardy's son, and he's like, "Oh, don't worry, we have this harness that uh, locks him into the truck, so that there's no way he's gonna fall off the truck." And then his son was like, well, what if that harness breaks? He's like, oh, well, then your dad dies. <laughs> Let's just hope that Holy doesn't shit. happen. <laughs> like, he just said that to this kid. And the kid's like, what? And he's like, roll scene. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it, kid. Uh, did you ever watch the movie Nightcrawler? Yes. That was a good movie. You know the scene where he, like, slams a mirror? Shut. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's, he, like, sliced his hand open. <laughs> He's fucking scary as balls in that movie. Oh, it's so good, though. <laughs> he is so scary. It's such a good movie. Yeah, I would agree. And then afterwards, he puts on the weight for Southpaw. It's almost as crazy as the Christian Bale machinist. I did not realize those were right after each other. Yeah. Yeah, he, uh... Because everyone talks... All, you know, he can bring it. Yeah. I mean, everyone I talks about Christian Bale going for him going from Machinist to Batman, but let's talk about Southpaw and uh, Nightcrawler. Come on, people. Well, I know that he went from... I think he went Machinist to Batman to Rescue Dawn to Dark Knight. Mm -hmm. So, like, that was every which way. Um, And then when he did Vice, he, like, gained a fuck ton of poundage. Oh, yeah. And they were like, are you gonna do this again? He's like, no. No, I am not. This is the last time I'm doing this. (laughs) No. Or even American Hustle. Oh, I didn't even see American Hustle, but he got pretty large, right? He herniated a disc. Ew! And he kept it so he can walk that way. My god. That's commitment. It's something. Rick, we're going to need your level, that level of dedication for the next trivia, okay? I'll, I'll study up a little more next time. No, I'm just saying, I need you to her- herniate a disc commitment. Can you do that for me? Can you do that for the team, Rick? Yeah, I'm going to need you to... <laughs> That'd be great. <laughs> That'd be great. Okay. Oh, shit. Uh, a couple months ago, we were ordering supplies in the office. 
and one of my coworkers who's placing the order, she's like, "Do you want anything?" I was like, "No, I'm good. I'm good." She's like, "Do you need anything else?" I was like, "No." And then when the shipment comes in, guess what I got? What'd you get? A fucking red stapler. <laughs> That's awesome. I was like, "No, but th- this is mine. I, I brought it from home. This, this is my stapler." My stapler. Set the building on fire. I swear to God, I will. Steven Root. That dude's awesome. And, speci- and specifically asked for no salt in the pina colada. They, or in my margarita. They put salt on my margarita. I didn't I didn't ask for salt. I specifically said no salt. <laughs> um, oh, shoot. It's time to end the stream. And you know what? I think it's a good time to. And I'll continue this conversation with the homies not being recorded for the masses. Now I can say racist things. Yeah, and that's all Ben does the second that I'm not recording. Just all racism. All about white people, too. Super racist. Always. <laughs> it's pretty great. <laughs> it's, pretty, it's pretty great. They're really missing out. <laughs>